So let's do that right away. It's gonna be the last poll for today. All right, any net five is all I'm asking for. <laughs> all right, let's go. Finally! Wow! No! 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 Hey, Big Sam players! Soldi here, back again with another E7 video. So today, I'll be showing you guys my seaside bellona. So I just finished leveling her up and 6 star awakening her. She looks pretty good in this set. Um, Yeah, I gave her a fully offensive set. But it's a speed set so she gets some speed from it. Gave her attack percent boots with crit damage substat. Um, attack percent ring. Which I got from the um, Automaton floor, I think it's 90 something, but yeah, got really lucky there and gave her a crit percent necklace. So I actually, um, actually pulled her artifact. Yeah, got fortunate, fortunate enough to pull it. So yeah, let's equip it. I think it's pretty good, it gives extra damage. So yeah. Only on her AoE attack though, but I think yeah, it's really good. Um, the thing is, I could go for this necklace on her. It would um give her more attack and effectiveness, but and speed. But well, no, not speed. Give her more defense, attack, and effectiveness. But I'll be losing HP and um a little bit of speed, which is very important. So I don't think I'll go for it. I think. I think this is fine, yeah. So yeah, as you guys saw in the intro, I pulled another Fallen Cecilia. I'll be building her. <laughs> I'll be building her so I can use her. Um, so I'll have two Fallen Cecilias for Guild Wars. So basically, I can use, let's say I want to bring her into both of the match, uh, both of the battles, I could do that. Let's say if one um, dies, I could. I will still have a second one. It sounds crazy, right? Right, but I may do that. Let's see how it goes. But it will be a long-term project kind of thing. So and you never know. Maybe in the future they nerf her and they give a, a, a trade ticket again. You know. So, but that's probably not going to happen. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm definitely not going to imprint my Fawn Cecilia with another Fawn Cecilia. I'd rather just have the the unit, you know, as is. You know, because it's so hard to pull a M on that 5. I'll just keep it as a, a token, something to talk about. Okay, um, hmm. Yeah, so that's it. Let's get right into the Guild Wars. Oh, before that... So I haven't been doing arena at all, yeah? I haven't been doing arena at all. And I was at about 20% defense um, success rate. So I came into arena today, um, I checked my arena, right? And I'm at 42% defense. So I had a look at my battle lock and lo and behold, yeah, I don't know what to... Um, Thanks, I guess. I mean, thanks, you know, Miko. You single handedly doubled my defense success rate. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Very grateful indeed. Yeah, it's been a while since I got a. <laughs> I got fed. <laughs> After. Yeah, it's the first. Let's count how many times that he fed me. Um. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Inomiko. I will be forever in your debt. Alright, so let's get right into the Guild Wars. Okay, so 
We're up against a, a weaker guild today. Mm. So yeah, it's not many teams that, I mean, not many towers that look strong, I guess. Um, hmm, who should we go for? Go for this guy. Um, yeah. Alright, we're definitely going for this guy. Yeah, let's go for this guy, yeah? Start off with um, this tower. So, I'll definitely bring my Seaside Bellona to the second match because that looks like a proper defense to me. Um, so, we'll bring her with Fawn Cecilia, so Fawn Cecilia protects her. Lilibet would be so good in the second match. Like Issei Tam Lilibet would be so good with defense break the crawl and Lilibet the crawl with her uh, use of S3 on the crawl and just take her out. But I haven't built my Lilibet yet, haven't geared her, so yeah. Maybe in the next video I'll showcase her. Um, so we're bringing Bellona, Fallen Cecilia, and who else should we bring? Bring a DPS, yeah. Let me think. Um, who should we bring for the third match? Hmm. Hmm. I think. So we're gonna be defense breaking them. So I'm pretty sure any DPS will work here. Um, you know, I've never actually um, brought my Kisei into Guild Wars recently yet. Mm, haven't used her in so long. So I think why not bring her here. Is she even geared though? Let me have a look. Kisei. If only I could find her. I can't even find her. I, th I think she's not geared. Am I blind or something? Is she here? Is she geared? I, I think I... Um, yeah, I I I'm pretty sure I, I didn't gear her. So, uh, let's bring... Um, Luna would be good, I think. Let's do Luna, yeah. Where's Luna? There she is. Alright, let's bring Luna. I didn't mean to um, replace uh, Belna, okay, um, yeah. Alright, for the first match, do you want to outspeed them? Hmm. Nah, we can just tank it. Tank the first match. Um, Bring Shun Starkatess. She's really good with um, K Ron, and I think I think Crow is pretty good up there. Yeah, all right, looks good. Um, hmm, yeah. All right, let's go. Alright, nice, our K1 got an attack buff. Thanks to the Moonlight Dream Blade. Okay. I'll push back the Shadow Rose. Because, uh, she's the fastest unit. Take out the Bellona. This should take her out. Nice. It's the mortality buff to K-Ron. We also applied barrier to K-Ron because barrier is considered a, a buff, so you can actually buff uh, gift barrier with Chewing Star Akates S3.
Okay, um... Let's use S3 here. Alright, that Ruel is... Um, very squishy. Wow. Love that animation. <laughs> Wait, what? That's pretty crazy. I mean, wow. Let's take out the Ruel. It seems like her S2 is very, very OP, I think. It's provoked. Okay. So her S1 applies target debuff, which amplifies your damage by 15%, while any any of your units which hit the target with a target debuff gets a 15% damage increase. Hmm. The first defense looks interesting, but the units are only level 50, so I'll uh, find some other tower to hit. Hmm. Alright, let's go for this guy, right. let's go, um, hmm, so I'll bring my Bellona to the first team, I don't want to bring her to the second team because uh, two earth units and she's uh, water so she's gotta be missing a lot of her attacks, hmm, so I want to bring Fawn Cecilia with her to protect her. And I think shooting, um, I think shooting star Akates is pretty good in the first match for the revive and stuff. Um, I could bring Burel, actually. Um, I'm not sure if my SSA is on immunity set. Let me have a look. She is. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, I'll bring her. Um, no, actually, I want to bring her with. Uh, I want to pair her with K1. Yes, because she's uh, her S2 is really good with K1. It's also really good with Cross. So I think, yeah, I think that second for so the second match, that looks like a good um, comp for the first match. Hmm. Hmm. I think Violin Dizzy is the the way to go. So you can dispel um Bellonus S uh uh S3. Alright. So we could do this, yeah? Hmm. The problem is Araminsa is just gonna stun everybody and the Seth is gonna do decent damage. I think I'll go for Crimson Army instead for the second match. Yeah. Hmm. So I just wasted 50k gold. Oh, it's only 5k. Oh, because um, Bella Valens are 4 star. So, okay, 30k gold. <laughs> changing equipments. All right. Mm. Yeah. Looks good. Um I think we have enough damage for the um the Angelica, I think. Do we? Yeah, Bellona does a lot of damage. All right. We don't have revive though. No, that's fine. Let's go. So my Bellona is actually pretty squishy. However, um uh, she's got a nice fat barrier, thanks to the Fawn Cecilia, and her S2 um, reduces the damage she takes by 30%. It's shared to the unit in front, which is Fawn Cecilia, so she's gonna be taking 30% of the damage my Bellona takes. Um, yeah, so surprisingly we outsped her 
Araminsa, not by not much no. I mean it could have been a lucky speed roll for us on speed on G. Yes, plus minus five speed on G for who goes first. Wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. It's funny how um, skill nullifier actually doesn't nullify a skill. All it does is nullify damage. It should be called um, damage nullifier, not skill nullifier. Alright. Let's have a look at the damage here. Whoa. I like how the damage takes twice at the end, it's like they just took extra damage from the water, um, from the, um, the wave. Okay, provoke. Not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I think um, Seaside Bellona is definitely um, top tier in Guild Wars and probably really strong in Arena too. Um, I want to go for the Biken here, yeah. Because she could push up the Diffy if she doesn't die here. She's not gonna die, wow. Kinda tanky there. We got defense buff up on Crawl, so he should tank this pretty easily. Yeah, Seaside Bone is really good. I mean, her S2 is pretty broken, I think. I'd say she's much better than. Well, not much better, but she's definitely better than the um, Earth Bellowner. Just an amazing unit overall. Very strong in Vibrant. Uh, I've tried her in Vibrant, so yeah, pretty strong there. Alright, um... Let's just attack here. It's not looking good. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright. Here comes the combo. Wombo combo. Alright, cross turn. Alright. So we wanna take out Dizzy, I think. Let's take out Dizzy here. Twenty one K damage, pretty nice, alright. Let's go. Um we don't wanna get countered by the Violet, so let's go for the Biken. So burn this. Okay. Alright. Right. Have a look at this heal, guys. Look at Cross HP, right? And I'll look at his HP after this heal. Big juicy heal. Boom. It's close to a full heal. So we have many ways of taking out the Violet, so this match is pretty over. We can take him out with Cross S3 when he gets low enough, or we can just damage him with um, K-Ron like so. Alright. Yeah, I was gonna say, we, would, we could take him out with K-Ron after his debuffs are gone, but we got lucky and landed the hit there. Alright. Pretty laggy right now for some reason. I mean, I was playing all day, leveling my Seaside Bellona, and it wasn't lagging at all. And then by the time I finish leveling her and decide to make a video, it starts to lag. So yeah. Okay, so we just um. All right. Um, who should we go for? 
Oh, okay. Um, right. Yeah, we can do this. I mean, first match, this C, huh? Hmm. I think I'll outspeed the first match, I think, and just cleave it or something. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a BBK cleave. Um, yeah, why not? Um, and C Dom. Alright, second match we can bring our... I know what to do, I, I know exactly what to do. That's my Bellona. Maybe we could do this, we could do double Bellona, right? And then we could... We could protect one of them with... Uh, protect both of them with Fawn Cecilia's Barrier. It looks good. Okay. Alright, let's go. Laggy, laggy, laggy. Lag's not too bad, so... So good. Alright, so burn. Since we have our uh, two Taka Health holder here, we can do some crazy soul burning combos. Alright, this should take them all down. Maybe not Angelica. Not Angelica's going. Oh, okay. Alright. Look at that, double bell on it. Yeah, it's um defense break then. Ooh. That bell is gonna take a lot of damage. Damn, look at that. One shot it. <laughs> yeah, she was death broken that that's why. Okay. For ruining her uh, vacation, is that what she said? That's what you get for ruining my vacation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Bellona's on my green Bellona's on uh, Rosa Hargana, so her dual attack chance right now is at fifteen percent thanks to that artifact. Alright, that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, it was kind of easy, but yeah, you can't select the guilds you're going up against, right? So, I'll definitely be using her in the future, in my future um, Guild Wars videos. I think she's really good. I love her animation. I really like her design as a unit. Really, really cool stuff here. So, yeah, I think her artifact is definitely good, it's, it'll be really good if you can max limit break it, so the chance goes up to 100%. Hmm, I think she could even be very strong on defense if you build her like a tanky, uh, give her tanky speed gears or yeah, tanky speed gears basically. Like a tanky Dissy, you know, get her up to like 17k HP, 1.1k defense. I think she can perform pretty well thanks to her passive, sharing the damage. Yeah, this skill is really good. I really like this second skill. I think it's amazing. So, yeah, I'll show you guys. Um, i show you her performance in Vyvern. I mean, currently my... Um, my Luna's not that well geared for Vyvern yet. I... yeah, because my best DPS gears are all, all over the place right now, so this is not gonna be a good demonstration, but... You guys probably get a picture. So yeah, she's really good in Vyvern. So, just do one run here. 
auto run. Really like the animation. I could do a three man run, but. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do a three man run, but my success rate would drop, and also my clear. Um. Clear time, so. Yeah, I just can't be asked to be quite frank. I mean. I'd rather just do 4 units and have it be at a 100% clear rate. So yeah, my Luna's pretty slow right now and her crit damage is kinda low too, so she's not ideal. If I give my Luna um, my best DPS gears, it's gonna be like a 2 minute run. Yeah, I really like her in um, Vibrant because she applies defense break with her S2. Sadly, she didn't apply it right there. But, but yeah, uh, Wyvern does 3 hits, right? 1, 2, and 3. And as you can see, her focus bar increases every time he does a hit. Push up our units. Um, right, this is gonna trigger um, C side bonus S2 right here. Hopefully, we get the defense break. Great. And now Luna just goes and does a good amount of damage. If my Luna had my best DPS gears, Wyvern would be uh, down right now. Very nice damage. It's just a great unit guys. O overall I would rate her a 10 out of 10. Amazing unit. You guys should pull for her if you're contemplating. Don't contemplate, just pull, just get her. She's a limited unit, she's amazing, her design's amazing, she looks gorgeous, her skill set is top tier. Um, crazy good, very good. Like, overall, I would, yeah, definitely very good unit. We're gonna pull additional copies. Um, imprint's not that great, to be honest, health percent, I mean, up to you. If you wanna pull additional copies, go ahead, but. Personally, I think one copy is enough. Yeah, you can say that they're gonna implement that new imprint system, which makes it so that um, you can imprint uh, yourself with your own imprint on the unit, or you could, or it would actually some imprints may grant extra bonuses to skills. But yeah, mm, I would say you know if yeah, just go for one copy if you're not you know a whale and. You want to save some bookmarks then yeah just one copy is enough i'd say that i mean if this was a speed imprint then i would say yeah max triple s here but you know health imprint not that great okay pretty good um yeah yeah very good unit guys i mean s1 target debuff good s2 broken s3 very good unable to be buffed and unheatable Oh, she's really good against Corvus and Kron. Yeah, just a great unit. Yeah, go for it. All right, let's summon for Seaside Bellona. A customer. We have a visitor. So I'll be just pulling until I get her, and I'll be following up with a Moonlight Pull. Let's get right into it. I actually don't have enough pulls to hit Pity, so I may not get her in this session. What's the rate? 1% here, yeah, right? 1%, alright.
I actually want to hit the moonlight um, timer. So, I mean the moonlight, um, what, how do you say it? The moonlight threshold, yeah. So, yeah, I want the gold transmit stones to do a moonlight. So, I actually don't want to get too lucky here. I want to get her around about the same time as I have enough. Um, Gold transmits for a moonlight pole. So it's like um six in the morning and there's birds chirping outside. Yeah, I just woke up. Hmm. Didn't get too much sleep though. Only got like six hours. Oh yeah, so the news about the summon changes just dropped and Oh yeah, hmm Hmm I like the compensation <laughs> yeah, I'll be having a big um, Moonlight Summon video coming out after the compensation of course Um, yeah, I like the rates for the Moonlights in the Covenant pool, I mean, they're still really low, like, really low, but it's much easier to get them now compared to before. There's no such thing as time gate anymore, you can actually just wear a Moonlight Net 5, you know, it's, it's, it will take you on average 667 pulls to get a Moonlight Net 5, so if you want a Moonlight Net 5, you can just buy it, lots of packs and just keep pulling in the Covenant Summon now. Sure you could go like 2000 summons without one yeah but you gotta be like extremely unlucky for that to happen so. Aureus, okay well I already got one max but I'll take another. Maybe max out two in case I want to use two Aureus in um in Guild Wars defense or bring two for offense. Duro, five star, no. Shuri, Surin, Serato. Okay. DD, it's, it's been so long since I pulled a DD, like months, like at least 6-7 months. I haven't even maxed out a DD yet. Like, the last time I pulled a DD was when um, DD was regarded as one of the best thief artifacts. Now it's still really good, but a lot of players are going Moonlight Dreamblade on their thief now. Okay, we're getting good. this is pretty good rates. Um, yes, Shuri. Oh, awesome. I mean, I'll be able to triple S my Shuri once I recall my Crimson Armin. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting um, slates with recalls. Um, actually, I don't have a Shuri right now, so I'll just keep this one because Shuri's gotta be really strong in the RTA. So. I'll be keeping a copy and I'll be imprinting my watches Shuri. Actually, I, I sh may I may I, I maybe should imprint my Shuri instead. I'll think about it. Okay. Um.
Hmm. And that three strikes I'm coming. And that three strike is here. This is the part where we just get super lucky and then suddenly we pull a that five. Right? Oh, we're really unlucky. Roman, he's getting a buff, like a huge buff, so I think it's gonna become part of the new meta. Not a Cerital, okay. Fifty-five bookmarks to go. All right, final ten sevens. A rose. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Alright, two more. Hmm. Okay, so we did not get her. Let's do a Moonlight Summon. Got seven transmits. Um. Who do we want? Any Nat 5? Give it to me, except Ruel, because I already have her. Or Fallen Cecilia, I already have her too. Alright, let's go. Uh, Ricky. Okay, um. We can maybe force out some more summons. Um, Try and get some bookmarks here. Actually, I shouldn't be doing this. I should save my sky stones so when they put in um, mystic medals. They're gonna put in 50 mystic medals into the drop loot, so you can actually do mystic summons through the secret shop now. So, yeah, I'll just refresh until I get 5 bookmarks, do another pull, and call it a day. There we go, okay. That was quick. Not spent too many um sky stones there. Alright, final pull. Artifact, alright. Alright, um now I'll be refreshing for bookmarks in the secret shop. So let's get right into that. So I started with um, 2,000 Skystones, so... Everything comes and goes here. 
See how many bookmarks I can get. And of course, information. <clears throat> so it's better to do this than to buy the um the bookmarks with sky stones outright, because you actually get um, more bookmarks by doing this on average, but the you have to basically spend gold if you want to do this a lot of gold so if you don't that's actually pretty good but it's um only level 70 so I'm not gonna go for it so if you don't if you don't have an excess amount of gold then it's probably not then you can you basically can't do this you can't buy bookmarks through the secret shop. So they'll be adding um, mystic bookmarks to the secret shop later. I'd rather um, do this then, but I wanna little lag. But I wanna force out a moonlight pool right now, so I can get an extra pool when the when they do the refund. Cause currently I'm at 69 moonlight pools. Um, I've done 69 Moonlight Pools here, yeah? so I'll need one more in order to get 35 back when they issue the refund. Hey, why don't you buy something? Come take a look. And yeah, I recorded all my Moonlight Pools, so I know exactly uh, what I got and in what order. Alright, we're down. <laughs> 135 sky stones without a bookmark. That's actually really bad. And there we go out first. Okay. <clears throat> oh, nice. All right. Back on track. Ooh. Okay. Um. Garbage. Okay, three summons so far. You may be able to get decent gear too by doing this, so keep that in mind if you are planning to um, to refresh the secret shop with sky stones. So I'm not gonna even look at um, level 70 gear, even if it's epic. I'm only interested in level 85 gear right now. Nice, okay. Four summons so far we got. Five summons. That's actually a really good rate. I mean we just got five summons with um two hundred and thirty four sky stones. Alright, let's summon some let's do the summons here. Um we don't have enough to hit pity yet, so Let's see if we get lucky. I'm not a fan of the artifact. I don't think it's very good. Shuri. Leo, okay, I'll take him. And the MO version's coming, so. That's actually pretty good. I like the um Moonlight Leo is basically um basically going to be a all new experience because he has a new mechanic in the um the um he places bombs yeah on his enemies so it's gonna be fun to play around with him if we pull him that is so Ok, 
Okay. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna go all the way to the pity. I'm not feeling um, that lucky. Probably not. No. I'm just gonna rush through the summons. Um, Rose Hawk Anna. Four more summons to go. Alright. Okay. Five star, okay. Be the new one. Nice. Okay, I love the art. Very, very nice. Um, Rain God Special Drink. Okay. The drink looks, looks good. I, I wonder what's so special about it. <laughs> All right. Um. So I need to do 21 more pulls for Moonlight, and I'm 10 away from the um, seaside Bellona. Okay. Let's do some more refreshes. Low on gold, so I wanna just um, I wanna just buy this up, right? Okay. All right. Amen. Okay. I guess I can triple S my Crimson Armin now, and then I can get back. Um, I can turn her in for the what's it called, the memory imprints, and then triple S my Sid or Watcher Shuri for the speed imprint. That'd be pretty nice. So this is probably the Seaside Bell, no? No. Nope. All right. So I. So I. Um. I predict this is gonna be the seaside Bellner guys. I predict this pool is going to be the featured banner unit. Let's have a look if my prediction is correct. Let's have a look. Nice. Hmm. Well, hello there. All right, so I need ten more summons for the um for the moonlight pool. All 
Alright. Hmm. Pretty nice. Alright. So I'm gonna build her in instantly and I'm gonna use her in Guild Wars today. Alright. Um yeah, I need ten more summons. So yeah, I'll be getting a new um, laptop at the end of this month, so I'll be streaming straight away. Should be really fun. Hmm. Oh! Alright, not too great. If that uh, flat defense was um, speed, I would have gotten that. I've definitely bought that. Alright, um. That's actually not too bad, but... Ooh, ooh, nah. Hey, why don't you buy something? Come take a look. I nearly re refreshed there. <laughs> One second, um... Uh, dead chat indeed. Uh, refresh. Crit damage? Nope. Come on, where are the bookmarks at? Money for information. More information for money. Come on, just want one more bookmark. Just one more. Ooh. It's got crit damage, but nah. Actually that may have been worth it. It's kind of a low roll on the crit damage though. Okay. Alright, so I need ten summons, right? Hmm. Would be nice to get another copy. Guess she's limited, so um need seven summons. You can get lucky with refreshes. Oh, okay, good. Come on, keep it up. 
So if I need gold, I can just sell penguins. Uh, basically trade in... Trade in the... Ooh, oh, it's level 55. Um, trade in the... Stigmas for penguin and just sell them. Right. I got a lot of stigmas um, stacked up right now, so yeah. Hey, why don't you buy something? Come take a look. Hey, why don't you buy something? Come take a look. Come on, just one more, just one more, one more bookmark, all I'm asking. We're on a uh, bad track here. Pretty bad. Okay, perfect. Alright. How many pulls do I need? Um, so I need 7 pulls, but I got about 5 pulls. Um, can I get 5 pulls with 300 sky stones? Um, I think I can. Actually, yeah. So just trade in some, um, penguins. Oops. Um. Okay. Nice, alright, four more pulls. Twenty more bookmarks.
Ho oh, ho. That um if that effect resistance um swapped with attack percent, then I'm definitely buying that. That is yeah, that's definitely beautiful. Um that looks really good but yeah, effect resistance, I mean nah. And it's only um, tier 5, level 70, so yeah, it's not too good. And even so, you know, if you buy that and all your rolls, um, let's say effect resistance main swapped with um, attack percent main, so basically it has um, attack percent, you can still roll effect resistance subs, right? So. It could end up being garbage with some crappy rolls, you know. Everything comes and goes here. Money, goods, and of course, information. Hmm. Crit? Nah. Nope. Wow, okay. Okay. So, if this weapon has attack percent and crit damage, I'm gonna buy it instantly. Perfect substats would be attack percent, crit damage, speed, and critical hit chance. Attack and crit chance, pretty, pretty close. I mean, if that flat health was a crit damage, I would have bought this, I would definitely buy this weapon, but oh well. It's like all all of our luck gets vanished. No bookmarks in sight. Alright, so I made a little cut there. Um, yeah, I had to scramble some for some bookmarks. Um, so yeah, I have enough for a moonlight pool now. So let's do that right away. It's gonna be the last pull for today. Alright, any net five is all I'm asking for. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Finally! Wow! No! 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 no. No, why? 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 I mean, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's eleven different units, and I have two Nat Five Moonlights. All right. So nine, nine different units I don't have, and I pull a dupe. Are you serious? So disappointing. I mean, oh, I mean. oh God, it's so bad, guys. Are you serious? I've done seventy moonlight pulls, and I pull a dupe. That's my second moonlight. Nat 5 I pulled in 70 summons, alright, I've been playing this game since its launch and it had to be a uh, bloody do. Alright, that's it for the video I guess, I mean, oh my gosh, that, oh my gosh, I can't believe that, oh, I can't believe that happened. Alright, I'm done guys, alright, uh, see you next time, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, alright, peace out.